Now we're going to look at creating our road strings within the project. These begin life on top of a civil site design or a civil 3D alignment. We cannot have both civil site design and civil 3D alignments in the same project, so you'll be using either one or the other. Road strings are ideal if you want to create a simple road shape which basically has a start and an end and simply goes from A to B. These are the only string type which will speak to each other. So if we intersect two road strings together, the two will connect and the software will dynamically update them both, maintaining that connection. It's also the only string type which will allow the connection of network strings. So for any point you plan to have curb returns, a cul-de-sac, a knuckle, which is essentially bays or parking or widening, or using the roundabout tool, then these will only work with road strings. So there's some very clear criteria to help you define which string type you'll be using at what point in the software. The main outcome of this particular string type is that we end up with a dynamic road string model. This is essentially a surface and it's called total model. As we begin to add other road strings and network strings and connect them to each other, the software will automatically update and create total model for us. It is a surface that is managed entirely by the software. Let's now look at creating a road string on top of our road one alignment.